Hello and welcome back to Olotita, our wholeness channel here on YouTube, where we focus on everything from yoga to nutrition to meditation, mindfulness, and more. Every Tuesday, our video series focuses on the yoga portion of wholeness. And today we're looking at Virabhadrasana, Warrior 1 and 2, which are the final two standing postures of the Ashtanga Yoga standing sequence. So today's a really exciting day for you if this is brand new to you and you're adding on this posture. It signifies that you've made it quite far in learning the series or sequence of the practice so far. And after we take this posture, we move into the seated yoga postures that make up the primary series. So congratulations on getting this far in your practice. And I look forward to helping you go even further You'll see scars in my body, and if you have questions about why they exist, there will be a link in the description box below for videos that share a little bit about that story. And now let's begin Virabhadrasana, Warrior Poses. We've just finished Utkatasana, so you're going to start in that position where your knees are bent and your arms are extended overhead. From here, we'll take our vinyasa into Warrior One, so fold forward, place your hands to the floor, and step your feet back for this modification from high plank drop to your knees and then lower down. Inhale, relaxing your feet, push into up dog. Exhale, press back into down dog. Warrior one, we pivot our left foot flat, step the right foot forward, and if you need to, you can grab your ankle with your right hand to step your feet further. Then you're gonna push through those feet. Inhale, raise your arms, bringing your palms together if you can, looking up towards your fingers or to your thumbs, Angusta Madhya Dresti. You need to make sure that your right knee is right over top of your ankle, your back leg is straight, and both feet are pushing in opposite directions. Continue lifting the chin and stretching your eyes to your fingers to maintain your cervical spine. Inhale, straighten that right leg, reverse your feet, square your hips, bend your left knee. Your left knee is right on top of your ankle and your back leg is straight. Both feet are pushing down and out in opposite directions to create tension or tensegrity in your lower structure so you can lift up out of your upper body. Really think about lengthening out through your scapula so you're not just lifting the arms up, but you're reaching the arms upward. Deep, steady breaths. Opening out here on your exhale into warrior two, keep your left knee bent right over top of your ankle and your back right leg straight but now your arms are extending out wide in line with your legs and you're rotating your right hip out to the right as you press your left knee to the left. With your upper body, keep squeezing your shoulder blades together and reaching your fingers in opposite directions. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, reverse your feet, bend your right knee and lengthen out through your fingers. So now your right knee is bent right over top of your right foot. Your back leg is straight. You're sinking down into your hips extending out through your fingers, lifting your chin and your head and stretching your eyes to your fingers. Deep breathing with sound, steady focused bandhas. Doing a great job. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor, step your right foot back and lower down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. And then you'd come through and have a seat on the floor to start seated postures. But first, we're gonna look at the full expression of Warrior One. Bring your hands to the floor, jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, press back into Down Dog. Pivot your right foot flat, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, raise your arms towards the ceiling. Five deep breaths here. Really pushing down and out through your feet. Right knees over your ankle as you reach up through your fingers. Connecting to the oppositions. The feet are grounding down so you can really lift out of your shoulders and scapula. Really lift your chin and stretch your eyes and keep your breath steady. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, reverse your feet and come into your left side. If you can, try to keep your eyes up to your fingers as you reverse your feet. Your left knee is right over your ankle, pushing your right hip forward continuing to slightly arch your lower back as you reach up through your fingers and stretch your chin and eyes up towards those fingers. Squeeze Mulabandha. On your exhale, open out into Warrior Two. really reaching those arms now. They're in alignment with your feet. 
Your right foot pushes down and back, that quad is turned on. Your left knee is pushing to the left as it sits right over top of your ankle. Your chin is turned to the left as you look past the fingers of your left hand. Squeeze Mulabandha. Keep your breath steady and your bandha strong. Inhale, stand up straight. Exhale, reverse your feet, bend your right knee, coming into your right side, Dakshachala. The right knee is now over that right ankle and it's pressing to the right as you push your left hip to the left. Grounding down, sinking into your hips, extending out through your fingers and squeezing your back muscles. Keep your head lifted as you turn your head to the right and gaze to your fingers. Steady breaths. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor, step back and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into down dog. And walk or step or jump through to have a seat on the floor so we can begin our seated postures. I hope you found today's video to be educational and I look forward to sharing more postures with you coming next, beginning with the seated sequence or the primary series, yoga chikitsa, yoga therapy. Keep up with your practice. Keep putting in the work to get on your mat and move your body and connect with your breath and your bandhas and where you're gazing, how you're breathing. If you continue to be consistent with this practice, this practice will consistently benefit you. Nissa is a product line that I created a very long time ago, uh, circa 2006, during a trip to India, where I was inspired by the colors and the sounds and the smells of India, the vibrancy of it all. And I fell in love with textiles and the creation process. And one of those many things are so many different bags that I've fallen in love with creating through the years. And this is another one of our pouches. It has an ohm symbol on it, embroidered into the corduroy. You can get this in several different colors. And as with our other pouch, it has an inner pocket. And I do use my pouch to hold a lot of my essential oils that I carry along with me. I put them in my purse and they're always with me. If you would like to get your own beautiful own pouch, you can hop over to olotita.com. Until next time, my friends. Namaste.